In this video, we will be going over how to calibrate a depth micrometer. We will be doing so with our uh, micrometer gauge blocks and a height master, depth master. Uh, this unit um, is for six inch depth mics and less. Uh, we're on a surface plate, that's not necessary for this, uh, but this is where we're doing the video. So, First thing we have to do is choose the rod for the depth mic. And we'll come in here and choose. We'll choose this one. Looks like we have a two inch rod. And we're gonna use the ratchet because the amount of clamping force on the rod used to, uh, used to clamp it in will change its position. So if your depth mic has it, use the uh, ratchet. Just gonna tighten it down. Good. Now we've just inserted the rod. We're gonna attach depth mic, center it up a little bit, and the height master. Our next piece, so we get the position right, let's insert the, uh, I call it a T-block. This is uh, an adjustable gauge block that splits these feet. I'm going to come all the way down and test it out. Check our zero. It's looking pretty good. So that's actually a full one inch extension. And we will begin to retract from here. We're going to use these gauge blocks. These are the same ones we usually use for most micrometer sets um, with the uh, numbers cor corresponding to uh, rotations on the mic head. So the first block we use is a 210. Uh, but this is interesting because it's a full one inch of extension. The subtracted from 210 is 790. So the value we're expecting is 790. I'm going to come down. And just a little, little short. Perfect, looking good. All right, gonna keep retracting. Well, I should have held this down during it. These feet will hold the uh, depth mic in place, but sometimes you have to help support it. This particular unit didn't need it, but I'll show it on the next one. So I'm going to keep retracting. Here's the 420 gauge block. And if needed, I'll kind of support this so it doesn't uh, pop up as I begin to index this ratchet down. Just a gentle pressure to hold it in place is useful. Uh, there's the next reading. Good. And these mics that don't have uh, vernier readings, they're just reading in 1000, so it doesn't actually have any other indications on it. And 605. Hold. I'm gonna get that centered. And slowly approach the final reading. Okay, good. Fifteen. We'll come down. Good. 
good. And for the full one, we get the option to either insert a gauge block or shim up the, uh, this gauge block up to the next level. Gives you the same answer. Both are just as accurate. We'll slowly approach zero. Good. And there you have how to calibrate a depth micrometer using the Depth Master.